Hi everyone, this is Lisbeth from Paper Plane and this is my September book haul. First off, we have this beautiful book, The Muse from Jesse Burton. So, what it says on the back. On a hot July day in 1976, Adele Bastien climbs the stone steps of the Skelton Gallery in London, ready for her luck to change. She has been employed as a typist by the glamorous and enigmatic Marjorie Quick, who unlocks a potential Odell didn't realize she had. When a lost masterpiece arrives at a gallery, Quick seems to know more than she is prepared to reveal, and Odell is determined to unravel the truth. The second book is a classic, The Handmaid's Sale by Margaret Atwood. Most of you might have already read it or maybe will be watching the series. I think I have read this in Dutch years and years ago, but I think I was too young at the time for it to make a proper impact on me. I remember thinking it was weird. <laughs> I remember thinking it was weird, yeah. I realized now being older wiser, but I'm quite sure I will be raving about it. The third book I bought is Bodies of Light by Sarah Moss. Many people on booktube have been talking about Sarah Moss, so I looked up all her books and picked out the one that spoke to me most. So this is a story about two sisters in Victorian Manchester. One of them poses for artist friends of her father and the other one is trying to become a female doctor, which at the time wasn't easy. At some point something must happen in their family. Well, I'll be able to tell you more after I've read it. The fourth book I picked up is this one, The Girls from Corona del Mar by Rufi Torp. And this is a story about two friends, one who has seems to have an easy way in life and the other one who struggles a lot with an alcoholic mother and problems, but then at some point something must happen to twist a story and uh, it reads as if it's a story about friendship and how friendships change over time. And the last book I picked up is this one, Swimmer Among the Stars by Kanish Karur. So did I pronounce it properly. Um, he's an Indian writer, he lives in New York, and this is a short story collection. I don't think I've ever read a short story collection. No, I don't think I have. So this is quite exciting. Um, I'm always willing to try out new stuff. This sounds brilliant. An interview with the last speaker of a language, a chronicle of the final seven days of a town that is about to be razed to the ground by an invading army. The lonely voyage of an elephant, from Kerala to a princess palace in Morocco. A stunning collection of short stories from a remarkable writer, it says on the back. So these were all the books I bought recently. Have you read any of them? I'm really looking forward to hear your thoughts on them. What have you been reading? We can definitely have a chat in the comment section down below. I'll also put the links of all these books in the description box so you can look them up if they might interest you. And this is it for now. Have a lovely evening, day, week, and I'll see you soon. Ciao.